First thing you do is you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal point. In this, we have one, two, then we have three. So I'm going to write a three here. Okay, that's step one. Next, you just multiply as if there are no decimals. So it will be 841 times 5. Okay, so that is step two. You just multiply normally. 5 times 1 is 5. That's 20. Carry the 2. That's 40 plus the 2. That's 4205. And then all you do for step 3 is, remember the, the original 3 that we counted, you want the same number to the right of the decimal. So in order to have 3 to the right of the decimal, you can start counting from the far right. 1, 2, 3. So the decimal goes right there. So it is 4 and 205 thousandths. Okay? So let's work another example. Okay, step one, remember we're going to count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. We have one, two, three. I'll write that right there. Now we just multiply as if there are no decimals. Okay, 213 times 38. 8 times 3 is what? Uh, 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 1 is 8. So that will be 10 when you add the 2. And then that is 16 plus 1 from the 10 here. So that is 17. And then now let's multiply the 3. That is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Add these together. We have 4, 9, 10. Bring over the 1, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now we go back to our original number, which is 3. Yes, it is there. 3. And we need 3 numbers to the right of the decimal. So we're going to count from the far right. 1, 2, 3. And so here again, it would be, it goes right there. So it would be 8 and 94 thousandths. Let's work one more example. Okay, step one, let's count how many are to the right of the decimal. We have one, two, three, four. I'll write the four right there just to show you. Now we multiply it as if there are no decimals. Eight times seven, and eight times seven is 56. So now we need four numbers to the right of the decimal. So we have one, two, three, Four right here is a decimal, so it is 56 ten thousandths. Okay, so in summary, let's go back to this problem. You count first, step one is you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimals, and then you multiply as if there are no decimals. And then once you get that answer, you just go back and make sure you have the same number that you counted originally to the right of the decimal point. I hope. Let's begin with this. We have 3 and 6 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths. I'm going to rewrite it in this format. Okay. And so I'm going to ask myself, do we have, uh, is the this number a whole number? No. So I can move the decimal place 1 to the right. Uh, and I'll do the same on the um, inside. So let me rewrite it. So now we have 12 divided by 36 and the decimal point is right there. So I'm going to move it straight up. Okay. And now I just carry on some long division. Uh, 12 will not go into 3, but I do know that 12 times 3 is 36. So let's go through the steps of long division. I'm going to divide 36 divided by 12 is 3. 3 times 12 is 36. Now I'm going to subtract 0, and I'm going to bring down. There is nothing to bring down. So we have 3, and the decimal point is to the right. So uh, 3 and 6 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths is equal to 3. Let's write, let's solve another problem. Okay, so we have 10 and 4 tenths divided by 2 and 6 tenths. I'll rewrite it, okay, 
And now I ask myself, is this a whole number? No, so I can move it one place to the right. What we do on the outside, we're gonna do on the inside. I'll rewrite it, okay? And, and I'm gonna move the decimal straight up. Now we just have long division, okay? And then will 26 go into 10? No. So next, let's divide 104 by 26. I think that is four times, four times 26 is 104. Now I subtract, that is zero. There is nothing to bring down. Decimal point is right here. So the answer is four. Okay, let's work one more. Okay, um, we have 34 and 5 tenths divided by 15. I will rewrite it. Okay, I ask myself, is the number on the outside a whole number? Yes, it is. So we do not need to do anything other than move the decimal point up. Okay, now, uh, let's start with uh, division. 34 divided by 15 looks like 2. 2 times 15 is 30. I will subtract, okay? I will bring down, okay? 15 into 45 is, uh, that is 3. 3 times 15 is 45. We have 0, nothing else to bring down. So 34 and 5 tenths divided by 15 equals 2 and 3 tenths. Hope that helps. Thank you.